Hello, fifth graders. Mrs. Hales here with your next art lesson. Today we're going to do a Zen Tangle project. Think of Zen Tangles as mindful doodling with patterns. Um, this video should explain them to you. Do you ever have days when you are feeling kind of blue or worn out? Perhaps you've experienced a moment when you're feeling super grumpy or even angry. Well, two adults, Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas, invented an art technique called Zentangle, a type of doodling that calms the mind and relaxes your body. They discovered that doodling simple patterns on a piece of paper helps people deal with stress, get in touch with creativity, and turn mistakes into positives. Zen stands for calm, and Tangle stands for a collection of overlapping patterns. Whether you consider yourself to be an artist or not, you will find that the simple doodling technique, which you can do anywhere, will make you feel good. Here is an example of the Zen Tangle project you will be completing today. And here are some examples of Zen Tangle from around the world. Let's get started. Remember when we talked about the principles of design being like the tools that make good art? Well, pattern is one of the principles of design. And today we're gonna to be using pattern and repetition, which is also a principle of design. We're gonna be using both of those things. They kind of go together, obviously. Um, and then we're also gonna be using from the elements of art, we're gonna be using line and shape and probably texture. Um, and we're, so we're going to be using those elements of art as well. You're going to be drawing a leaf shape and you want your leaf shape to be considerably larger than your hand. You should be working on an eight and a half by 11 or a nine by 12 size piece of paper. And so you want your leaf shape to fill up that page. Uh, the reason you want that is so that you have enough room in the spaces that you carve or create in your leaf to actually put your pattern and be able to put enough repeats in your pattern so that people can tell it's a pattern. So um, you can make whatever, you can break up your leaf however you want to break it up. If you want to break it up with circles or large squares like they did in the um, Zentangle video example, or you can break it up um, in one of these ways. Then figure out what patterns you want to use. My top part of my leaf or the top section has like a, it looks like pipes that are different sizes. The section I'm working on now is like little rainbows that are um, connected to each other where one rainbow ends, another one starts. This third section, I drew a grid and then each grid, I put an X with a square in the center uh, um, kind of surrounding each one of those X's. And then I'll have to determine how I want to color it, what I want to be black and what I want to be white. This pattern, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it in my leaf. So I drew a grid with four squares and then I put kind of curved diamonds in each of those grids with little lines in the middle. And then around the curved diamonds, I put little rainbows. I broke this section up with some slightly curved lines and then put bigger loopy rainbow shapes in, in between each of those curved rows. Here is what that section looks like when I colored it in with black. And then on the um, skinny rows in the middle, I put lines or circles. In this section, I did a diamond grid shape and then I put a little flower or hand shape at the base of each of those sections. Here is what that section looks like when I colored it in. So just continuing to show you different patterns, you can do wavy lines with leaves in the middle, circles or polka dots, 
little flowers with things in between them. You can make a series of triangles stacked on top of each other. Um, you can make a series of little mountains and then stagger them with other mountains in between, like rows of mountains. You can make a wavy line and make it look 3D. You could do a checkerboard pattern. You could do a flower and then put a spider webby type shape outside of that. So really just get creative and let your brain get to work thinking up ideas. While you're drawing, think about what areas you're gonna color black and what areas you're gonna leave white. All right, let's review what your task is today. Today, you're going to draw a leaf shape on your white paper. It should be in the middle. It should be bigger than your hand and take up a lot of that white paper. You're gonna draw in pencil today. You're gonna break up that leaf shape into circles or squares or rectangles or like diagonal shapes, kind of like triangles or trapezoids. However you wanna break up your leaf shape, that's fine. In each one of those spaces, you're gonna put different patterns. You need to have at least five, between five and seven different spaces or ways that you've broken up your leaf so that you have five to seven different places to put different patterns. If your leaf is kind of smaller, I would just do five sections. If your leaf is on the large side, you have room for six or seven um, different sections in your leaf. Um, and then you're gonna draw as many different entangle patterns in there, in there as you can. If you wanna practice first on a piece of scrap paper, if you um, like a more difficult pattern, you're welcome to do that. You always have an eraser option. If you don't like a pattern, just erase it and start over. Um, next week, we are gonna go over our pencil lines with Sharpie. And then if you, you want to, if you have watercolors, you have the option to color the area around your leaf. I thought it'd be really pretty to do that in um, kind of fall warm colors. All right, boys and girls, um, good luck with your Zentangles. I'm gonna leave you with first three different leaf, leaf shapes that you can draw and then the next slide I have that you can pause or freeze is of different Zentangle pattern ideas. Mm -hmm.